welcome to day one of our Milan trip. So yesterday was Jordan's birthday. It was March 30th. It was Thursday. He worked. I kind of like packed and just got ready for the trip. It is currently 11 in the morning and we were going to leave around 11.30 but Jordan's not up yet but I think he's already packed because I don't think he would be sleeping in this late if he hadn't packed. So I might wake him up in a second and see what he's doing because I'd like to leave between 11.30 to noon because Milan is about a three hour drive, three hours and 15 minutes. You can totally take the train to Milan, but we're taking our car because we're staying at a hotel. We got a good deal um, at a hotel just a little bit outside of Milan. And so it's not like we could leave our hotel and walk around and, or like we could take the train, but it's just gonna be too much. So since our hotel is a little bit away from like the center, we just decided we're going to take our car so that we can just drive there and then just park during the day and then just walk around. We're going to be at Milan for three days. We're leaving today, Friday, Saturday, and then we'll stay Sunday morning, do a little bit of things and then come home and then Jordan has to work Monday. So it's going to be a quick trip, but it's all for his birthday. So I'm really excited that we get to go. This is our first place that we've been to. Um, besides Venice or the Christmas markets that we went to. This is like our first like big, like known city that we're going to. So we're really excited to go to Milan. Jordan's been wanting to go. We're going to be leaving Thor here. We have a friend and our neighbor looking over him, so he'll be fine. He's making me so sad. <laughs> Come sit down. makes me want to cry that we're leaving him here i got my suitcase over there that's packed trash because they're doing like one last like trash run before we leave jordan's in the shower if you can hear him in there i don't know if he can but it is currently oh my goodness 11 45 so we're just gonna leave at noon um jordan was like why didn't you wake me up earlier well i tried but he didn't want to wake up Hi, Papa. I love you so much, Mister. <laughs> We just made it into Milan and we're gonna see how much this toll is. It's not that bad. We just made it to the hotel and we were dying laughing because the GPS told us that we were but well, we had arrived and the hotel was nowhere in sight. But we see now where the hotel was. We just had to keep going down the street a little bit more, but the driving situation here is crazy. We've had a few close calls already and we just got here and they don't show any mercy at all. An executive room? An executive room? 622. Bar 10 to 11 p.m. 10 a.m. <laughs> We're gonna be drinking all day. <laughs> so, like I said, we are staying in a Holiday Inn. It's a little bit more different, I feel like, than the States. First of all, what is that? <laughs> Why is there this random exercise machine? Ladies' rooms. What? Why is there this random exercise machine right here? I mean, don't get me wrong. If I need to get a little pump in. And then they have robes and stuff. How cute. This bed does not. And we're on the top floor. That's the street that we just came in through. What about the bed? Not too bad. We gotta check for boggies. I think it's pretty nice. It's where the suitcases go. We got some drinks in here. What is this? <gasps> Yes, please. The Pepsi. <laughs> a little bit of some 
coffee, maybe? I don't know what kind of stuff they do here. Wow, look at that bathroom. I love this shower. Oh, and the bidet, per usual here in Europe. It's cute. Look at that. I literally cannot get it to focus for the life of me. But it says, be happy you are a special rewards club member. Because when Jordan would stay back at our previous base for work, he would have to stay in Holiday Inns a lot. And so he got points from that. And we are being able to use it for this. I still can't get over this machine. Let's go check out the hotel. Okay. So Jordan just took probably the shortest nap on earth. It was like maybe 15 minutes by the time he fell asleep. Um, but we're heading to our massage and we're worried that we're gonna be a little bit late because it takes 40 minutes to get there, but it's only nine miles away. Oh, I guess I could like, go that way. Can you believe that? 40 minutes for nine miles? It is like rush hour traffic time. It is 4.15. Then keep left. But still, like, that's ridiculous that, that it takes that long to get there. So we're trying to hurry because earlier I looked and it took only 30 minutes to get there, but now it's 40 because of the traffic. So I'm kind of like, not excited, but anxious to see why it takes that long to get there. Keep left onto Via Gian um, Maria Cornacchia. So we'll see. <laughs> we know now why it takes 30 something minutes. I've never been to New York, but think about driving in New York and this is probably what it is like. The drivers here are absolutely insane. The roads are crazy. There's motorcycle cyclists going in and out of you. There's bicyclists, there's pedestrians crossing when they're not supposed to. Like, it is definitely interesting to see how like i mean i grew up in dallas or near dallas and i've seen dallas traffic and this is not near as bad at all like look at this person oh my gosh i gotta get all the way over are you not paying attention to the gps babe like look at these motorcycle dudes they think they can just weave in and out of everybody look at that literally like Okay, I could be totally, like, just not know anything outside of what Dallas is, but, like, in the States, you can't do that. Like, police will get you for that. But here, I feel like if you have a motorcycle, you literally can go anywhere you want. In between cars, like, yeah, people do that in the States, but not to this extreme. Like, to be honest, it's super dangerous. So, apparently, we showed up too late, which was our fault. But we showed up late, and they canceled our reservations, so now we're at McDonald's because... Um, we hadn't eaten anything all day, we'd just been snacking in the car, and there was a McDonald's right by the spa, so we were like, let's go grab a snack, because they rescheduled our massages to 8.30 to 9.30 tonight. So, we are going to show up at 8 o'clock, and be on time, and then after that we're going to eat dinner. So it's going to be kind of a late night, but I can't believe Jordan found a parking spot so close, because those that driving situation that we were just in was absolutely ridiculous. Are you happy to be in Milan? Yes and no. It is so stressful, the driving. The driving, the pedestrians, the motorcycles, the I, lights. I don't think I've ever been so scared for my life, like driving before. I just feel like I want to hit somebody, like a pedestrian, because they just like walk out. Yes, you. I know. I'll give you a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. For your driving. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the biggest cities I've driven in. Do not order the chocolate milkshake. It is disgusting. It tastes like gritty. And it tastes like the chocolate is like so fake. Like you know how like fake chocolate tastes? That's how it is and it's gross. And I've said this a million times, I will eat anything, right Jordan? Like I will eat almost anything. But if I don't eat something, that means it's gross. And I was so sad because I wanted a milkshake, but I've been sipping it trying to convince myself I like it. No, it's not that good. Jordan didn't like it either. We're just loitering around. We are, we don't know what to do. We might go to the Duomo and chill there for a little bit until our massage because our massage is not for another hour and a half so we're trying to figure out what to do because the duomo is 20 minutes away from a, like walking wise it's only a mile so it's not that far so we walked and we made it all the way to 
the Duomo. Here it is, it's huge and it's beautiful. Tomorrow we have tickets to get into it and on the rooftop, so stay tuned for the next video when we do that. But I am super excited. Jordan, go stand. Like when I say this church is big, it's huge. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of the church? It's beautiful. I, love I know. It. It's very nice. We're at the massage place right now, and we got here nice and early so that we can get our massages. And we have about 20 minutes left, so I'm super happy that we're sitting down because my feet hurt. I'm wearing bands. I wasn't planning on walking around too much today, but life happens and this place is super nice i will leave links down below what it is i think it's called like qc Ter terme they have a bunch of different locations there's like one in rome um there's like a few other ones around here so i'm just super excited about the massage because i feel like i need it um, are you excited for the massage we're doing this mainly for you because it's your birthday this whole trip is for him so after this we're going to eat dinner and then probably head back to the hotel and get some good sleep because we're both <laughs> getting tired so i will talk about how the massage went when we get back to the hotel but now we're eating dinner at oisteria da fortunata which i've seen a lot on tiktok about i'm really excited they make the pasta in-house and the menu is pretty small, which I like because then I'm not choosing from a million things. We just got bread, Jordan got some wine, and I'm excited about pasta because I've heard it's like some of the best pasta anyone has ever had. So we'll see. Here's what the pasta looks like, fresh. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks absolutely amazing and the portions are pretty big. I feel like in Italy their pasta portions are kind of small, but you can tell this is like homemade fresh. You try. It tastes very authentic, but it's like simple. I like it like that though, like I don't like it over complicated pasta. We're back at our hotel. As you can see, my face is like, a lot of my makeup came off during the massage because they did like a face mask, which I'll go into the massages. I think that it was really, really, really nice. The place itself was super nice. They don't do just massages either. They do like um, sensory rooms and they have like hot tubs and a pool and just a lot of like things like that. They did a foot scrub and they did a face mask. It was only $178 for the massage and I feel like that's pretty good for a couple's massage. I feel like that's like normal and for it being at that super nice place. I'm going to close out tonight's vlog or today's vlog and then i will catch y'all tomorrow on our second day which is like our main day because it's going to be the longest day that we're here pasta we had was so good and i didn't show this but after we got tiramisu and i think so the tiramisu was better than the pasta in my opinion it's the best wasn't it like i'm not a big tiramisu fan but that tiramisu was good because it was super sweet like it was like the like pudding or whatever that they have on there was super nice and super sweet and jordan doesn't really like tiramisu either but he loved it i will say it's kind of overpriced for what it is but you get the experience you get to watch them make pasta and you get a pretty good portion too anyways we're going to go to sleep because we're tired my feet are tired and close out and then we will see y'all tomorrow bye guys happy birthday